Hello students, let us get started with basic constructions of chapter 11. So today we will take a look at how to construct the bisectors of an angle. On this side of the board we will write the steps and this side of the board we will do the construction. So given the angle ABC we need to draw the angle bisector. So first of all what is an angle bisector? An angle bisector is a ray from one vertex of the angle that is the center vertex of the angle. Now here the center vertex of the angle is B. We need to draw a ray through B such that if I draw a ray like this, if suppose this is my angle ABC, then I need to draw this line, let's say BD, ray BD, such that angle ABD is equal to angle CBD. So this ray should divide angle ABC, ray BD when we draw it, it should divide the angle ABC into two equal angles. So let's get started with the construction. First what we are going to do is, with B as the center, you are going to take a compass. With B as the center, you are going to cut an arc on this angle. Okay? So let's write down this and you will mark the points as M and N. You can mark any other points. Okay? The cho uh, choice of alph alphabets is completely your choice. It's not necessary that if I have taken MN and ABC, you have to take M, uh, MN and ABC. But just in case you are asked to draw uh, a, di a construction with particular naming conventions in your exams or in your tests, then please follow those. Right now, it's not really important that you take ABC as your angle and MN as the arc. So the steps is, so first step, draw an angle any angle ABC. So it could be an acute angle, a right angle, an obtuse angle, anything I have taken an acute angle. Second, the second step was using a compass construct and B as the center draw an arc on arms or on rays rays or arms BA and BC then mark the point of intersection as M and N on arms BA and BC respectively. Okay. Now you have drawn this arc. What you are going to do is you are going to take a length more than half of MN. So I am just taking more than MN. With N as your center here, you are going to cut an arc. Again, you are going to place this needle on M and you are going to cut an arc here. So this point of intersection, you need to mark it as D. I will call it D. Just marking it a little further because what we are going to do is, once this is done, you need to take your scale and you have to take this point join this point B and D. So BD here is the angle bisector of your, tri of your angle ABC. We will also prove how angle ABD is equal to angle CBD. But let us just complete the steps first. So your third point is taking length more than more than half of arc mn using a compass cut arcs using m and n as centers. 
let the point of intersection of these arcs be let the point of intersection of these arcs be point d join bd and fifth point is bd is the angle bisector of angle abc so now let's go ahead and prove that angle abd is equal to angle cbd so how are you going to prove this you will need to join m to d and n to d so now if you take into cons uh, consideration these two triangles bmd and bnd you will notice that bm is equal to bn because they are of the same radii right because this was the center and this was the circle that was drawn using b as the center so these are the of the same radius so bm is equal to bn then you have md is equal to nd why because they are arcs of the same length and you have this as the common side bd therefore the two triangles are congruent to each other by the side 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 test of congruence therefore i can say that angle mbd is equal to angle nbd right so let's prove this in triangle bmd and triangle bnd bm is equal to bn radii then you have md is equal to nd arcs of same length and you have bd is equal to bd common side therefore triangle bmd is congruent to triangle bnd by the side 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 test of congruence therefore what can i say therefore angle mbd is equal to angle nbd through corresponding pair of congruent triangles but mbd is the same as abd right because m lies on the line segment ab similarly nbd is the same as cbd because n lies on the line segment bc therefore i can say angle abd is equal to angle cbd so this was your basic construction for construction uh, for drawing the angle bisector of your angle any so even if you had a right angle trying a right angle if this was your right angle similarly you just need to suppose this is the center vertex you cut an arc here using this as the center you cut an arc here using this as the center you cut an arc here so this is so uh, let's say your arc you join the center here if, even if you have an obtuse angle triangle what you are going to do is cut a small arc here then more than half the length using this as a center you cut an arc here so an arc here and using this as a center you cut an arc here join this with the center this will be your angle bisector and these two angles will be equal to each other this angle and this angle so please take a look at the steps as well as the construction thank you for watching this video hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates 
and important educational tips and also win e-parshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.